At what point was Bernie Sanders stricken from the list? And the reason I ask is because we know that he was on the list of 39 or so possible contenders. Um, he obviously, obviously generated a great deal of enthusiasm. Um, he obviously reached out to a lot of groups that you um, didn't find easy to reach out, millennials, white working class voters. Um, he won the Michigan primary, he won the Wisconsin primary, two states who ultimately did not win. Why not put him on the ticket? What did Tim Kaine offer that Bernie Sanders didn't? Yeah, it's a great question. And look, Bernie Sanders is a really important part of our campaign no matter what. Um, we would not have had the successful convention that we did without Bernie Sanders' help. Uh, we would not have had as many people support us as did without Bernie Sanders' help. He, he, he was a, an enormous part of our uh, presence on the ground in October uh, in particular, and we're really uh, grateful to him for that. You know, the decision, I think Kellyanne would agree with this, the decision about who should be your vice president should be a decision about who you think is ready to do the job and who you can see as a partner, you know, someone down the hall who you can call on uh, to work with you. Uh, and that's how Hillary approached this, and I assume uh, that's how Donald Trump approached this. Uh, as well, um, and that, and he was on that list because he deserved to be on that list, and he and he was considered fully along with uh, over 30 other people. Uh, but at the end of the day, she felt like Tim Kaine uh, would represent her views and values. If you know, God forbid, he had to become president, uh, that he had uh, the background and preparation uh, to do the job, um, but also that that partnership and that chemistry was the right one.